The Black Death was a shocking global epidemic of bubonic plague that ran into Europe and Asia in the mid-1300s. The plague reached in Europe in October 1347, when 12 ships from the Black Sea docked at the Sicilian port of Messina. Individuals assembled on the harbors were met with a horrifying surprise. Colon most sailors aboard the ships were dead, and those still alive were gravely ill and covered in black boils that oozed blood and pus. Sicilian authorities hastily ordered the fleet of death ships out of the harbor, but it was too late. Over the next five years, the Black Death would kill more than 20 million people in Europe, almost one-third of the continent's population. Even before the death ships pulled into port at Messina, many Europeans had heard rumors about a great pestilence that was carving a deadly path across the trade routes of the Central Asia and East Asia. The plague is caused by a bacterium called Yersinia pestis that typically lives in fleas and some 200 rodent species. It usually enters humans through bites. Current evidence indicates that once it came on shore, the Black Death was in large part spread by human fleas, which caused pneumonic plague, and the person-to-person -person contact via aerosols which pneumonic plague enables, thus explaining the very fast inland spread of the epidemic, which was faster than would be expected if the primary vector was rat fleas causing bubonic plague. The Black Death was terrifyingly, indiscriminately contagious. The mere touching of the clothes, wrote Boccaccio, appeared to itself to communicate the malady to the toucher. The disease was also terrifyingly efficient. People who were perfectly healthy when they went to bed at night could be dead by morning. The 13th century Mongol conquest of China caused a decline in farming and trading. Economic recovery had been observed at the beginning of the 14th century. In the 1330s, many natural disasters and plagues led to widespread famine, starting in 1331, with a deadly plague arriving soon after. Other conditions, such as war, famine, and weather, contributed to the severity of the Black Death. Many people believed that the Black Death was a kind of divine punishment or retribution for sins against God such as greed and blasphemy. By this logic, the only way to overcome the plague was to win God's forgiveness. Some people believed that the way to do this was to purge their communities of heretics and other troublemakers. Some people coped with the terror and uncertainty of the Black Death epidemic by lashing out at their neighbors, others coped by turning inward and fretting about the condition of their own souls. Ninety percent of China's population was infected by this plague. China was known as one of the busiest world trading nation, which caused a quick spread of the plague. King Edward III was the King of England in a terrible period. The plague had arrived to England, and without the necessary technology, Edward III and a high amount of peasants got infected and died. As it continued spreading, her daughter and some other nobles died as well. The plague arrived to England in 1348. There wasn't the necessary amount of medical knowledge to help England when the plague infected the population. It is widely believed that Bristol, an important port city, was the place where the Black Death first reached England. By 1st of November, the plague reached London and by 1350, nearly whole Britain was infected with. Merchants who came from Kaffa and arrived to Genoa and Venice were left alive in order to tell the tale as half of the population was infected by the plague. In Germany, the plague arrived in 1348. Jews try to protect themselves from the Christian mobs, if they survive they will soon be killed by the Black Death. 3,000 Jews were killed. By 1350, almost no Jews were left. During this time of terror and uncertainty, the population needed to place blame. The Jews made were a convenient target, especially that some reports state that their mortality rate is significantly less than the rest of the population. The Jews were accused of poisoning to wipe out all Christians after being tortured. These confessions played into the fears of an already paranoid population. Pogroms, aimed attack or persecution of a religious or ethnic group, against Jews continued to spread throughout parts of Europe. Same towns destroyed wells and rounded up and executed their Jewish population before any sin of the plague reached them. The plague reached Moscow. The whole continent was infected. Kings gave the order to throw all the core to the sea or burn them. Soon animal will migrate spreading the plague.
Some upper-class men joined processions of flagellants that traveled from town to town and engaged in public displays of penance and punishment, they would beat themselves and one another with heavy leather straps studded with sharp pieces of metal while the townspeople looked on. For 33 and a half days, the flagellants repeated this ritual three times a day. Then they would move on to the next town and begin the process over again. Though the flagellant movement did provide some comfort to people who felt powerless in the face of inexplicable tragedy, it soon began to worry the Pope, whose authority the flagellants had begun to usurp. In the face of this papal resistance, the movement disintegrated. The plague never really ended and it returned with a vengeance years later. But officials in the Venetian-controlled port city of Ragusa were able to slow its spread by keeping arriving sailors in isolation until it was clear they were not carrying the disease, creating social distancing that relied on isolation to slow the spread of the disease. The sailors were initially held on their ships for 30 days, a Trentino, a period that was later increased to 40 days, or a quarantine, the origin of the term quarantine and a practice still used today. Three mass grave sites were identified as a good fit for the study, one in Barcelona, one of the first cities to be hit by the plague, one in Bulgar City in eastern Russia, where the plague emerged a bit later, and the last one in Elwangen, Germany, where the plague sowed panic almost a century after the first outbreak. <laughs>